pulled it out and went back to the right. Third and one for the Lobos. Harris almost intercepted. Jimmy McMullen. And he's looking for Myers breaking down the field, and that's six if McMullen doesn't get a hand up. And there's another guy, not very big. Starter last year, two-way starter this year, and he gives it all he's got every play. Okay, Miles, fourth and one at the 21-yard line for the Lobos. Power I formation. They give it to Johnson, and it's going to be close. I think he may have it. It is going to be close, though. I'm sure they'll measure this one. Timeout, official measurement. I looks say like short. It's short. It looks it like does. it's short by about six or eight inches. It is going to be just short. And there's the great shot of it. Stretch the chains. It's short. It is. Probably so far the biggest play of the game. Would have to be. Just when it looked like Longview was driving possibly for the go-ahead touchdown or maybe a tying field goal. They go for it on fourth down. And Johnson, who's picked up the first down so many times on that particular play, was stopped just shy. And the Pirates take over with a minute 19 left in the first down. Miles, we have a halftime score from Brian. It appears Colleen Ellison leads the Vikings 17 to nothing at the half. If Ellison would win that game, they would win a playoff berth. The handoff to Jones. Watch out. Rodney Jones across the 40-yard line. And Jones is finally brought down by Mike Buffin. And number three, the defensive end, Ronald Cleaver. Pine the, Tree wants a timeout. And the fans showing their appreciation. Watch this run here. Now watch him break outside. Here's the great move coming up on Mike Boyd. Right there. And then he breaks it and finally brought down. 29-yard run. That'll put him over the 100-yard mark or close to it. Right at 109 to play and we'll be right back. First and 10 for the Pine Tree Pirates at the 50-yard line. Again, 109 to play in the first half. Jay Tommy to the far side of the field. Again, Hayes, the quarterback, and the Pirate fans are on their feet. Hayes looking for a receiver downfield, has one. And that's good enough for a first down, it would appear. Jason Williams with the catch. And there's a flag on the play. Well, Williams was down, and we had a late hit on the play. Here it is again now. Hayes rolling out again to down and out. Williams wide open. He's down and watch the hit. There it is. And that's the penalty. And coaches hate to see those kind of penalties because, in a word, they're needless. Especially with 103 to play in a half when you're down by three. And after a good game, you tack 15 more on it. So three yards. And Hayes is brought down by Victor Crane. Pine Tree wants time to think about it. There's 49 seconds to play, and we'll be back after this from Pirate Stadium. Time. Jason Williams to the far side of the field is the split end. Hayes is the quarterback, split backfield, and Hayes will keep it. Jones fumbles the ball, and it appears Longview has it, and the low goes to. A fumble pitch out by Jeff Hayes to Rodney Jones. Leon Hendricks recovers for Lobos, and all of a sudden, it might be a three-point game at halftime. Tough break for the Pirates. Knocking on the door with a first and goal, and maybe an ill-advised pitch on the part of Jeff Hayes. Jones just simply wasn't ready for it. They were too close together. And Jones lost the handle. Tough break, but a big one for the Lobos as they thwart a scoring drive here. I think everyone agreed the difference in this ball game will be mistakes. And both teams have made about the same amount. That's why we have a 10 to 7 score. This is Eric Harris cutting upfield, going to the 16 yard line. And Harris is pulled down from behind by Jeff Skinner and number five, Eric Bublitz. And Longview will, will be content to just run out the clock less than 15 seconds to go now. This will be the last play if we even get it off. 
And it looks like we won't. They'll just let the clock run out. So both teams have given up the ball inside their own 10-yard lines. The situation at halftime is a three-point ball game in favor of the Pine Creek Pirates. We'll be back with our halftime show in a moment. Thank you. 